It's not every day you can say you're making a milkshake with Khalees. You were still jamming to that song, Khalees. Oh, I know. <laughs> all the time. Does it follow you around? <laughs> Everywhere I go. It's amazing that I was able to be a part of something that, I mean, like, girls, like, kids come up to me and they're like, I'm like, why do you know that song? Right. But it's like, it still works and it still has such a, you know, the beat is strong and it's fun. It's I know a lot of fans out there want to know, um, are you working on any new music, you know? I'm always writing and I'm always kind of like, I mean, yeah, I stay in the studio just sort of creating, but I don't know what, I don't know what's going to come, you know, yeah. what's happening yet, but I'm just sort of... Living, I'm cooking. That's right. Making milkshakes. You love to cook. And I, I learned that you graduated from a Cordon Bleu. Yes, I did. That's so crazy. I mean, where did this passion for cooking and food come from? I mean, I'm a New Yorker. My mom's a chef. Yeah. I grew up around a lot of different food and access to a lot of different stuff. And so when I had the time, I just decided to go to culinary school. And I fell in love with just, I think, being able to create in a different form. I became obsessed. What do you love to cook the most? Well, I'm a saucier. I make sauces. That's right. So that's what I'm known for. I have a sauce company. and. Everything's bad with sauce. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Oh, you also got a cookbook. I have a cookbook. Yeah, tell me a little yes. bit about that. So it's called My Life on a Plate, and it really is, you know, touring and just music took me around the world. The book is really about like my favorite things from traveling and things I picked up, and then stuff I grew up eating, you mm. know, from New York and from my mom, who, like I said, is a chef. And yeah, it's kind of a, it's the culmination of my life, basically. <laughs> well, we're gonna put those recipe skills to the test. What okay, are we making good. today? Well, obviously, it's National Chocolate Milkshake Day. Right. So I wanted to do something decadent and really rich and lush, so I decided to make my chocolate milkshake with berries, of I love that. <laughs> now I'm interested. Now okay. <laughs> and you're actually a spokesperson, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so here we've got, we've got chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna add this in here. Is never too much. No. And we've got our liqueur here. So how much liqueur do you actually put in this thing? Well, you know, I would say we're gonna measure it. We'll do like two shots. Depends on what time of day it is, huh? Honestly, it'll be fine. <laughs> and then you just put a little ginger beer in there. That's so crazy. So I've never heard of a milkshake with ginger beer before. It adds some bubbles, some little flavor there. Yeah, it just gives it a nice kick. Mm -hmm. This is some candy ginger. And then just a little bit here. This is cayenne, so don't go crazy. And then... You like it spicy, huh? I do. <laughs> Shocking, right? I know, I love it. <laughs> I'm with you. Put some ice in there just to keep it nice and cold. And then you blend. All right, well, you've been doing all the work. TV magic, by the way, we got our milkshakes. It's amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to get into this, but first we got to add some whipped cream, right? Yeah, so you got that. May Go I? Yeah, you okay, can this. this is the industrial one. You guys are no joke with this. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. You got a... Candy ginger on there. Mmm. First boozy milkshake, I cannot wait. Here we go. I love it. Are you kidding me? So good, right? Whoa, that has like a little kick to it? Yeah. But that is so good. Is this gonna bring all the boys to the yard or what? <laughs> Always. I have to. All right, cheers. Thanks for this milkshake. Oh my God.